This is William K. Murta, Mert Witness 1. And today I would like to discuss Timothy Charles Holmes Seth and the reptile people. Now in the same video that Timothy Holmes Seth made about the fish people, he also talked about the reptile people. And in particular, Lieutenant Colonel Vidman, who he directly accused of being a reptile person. Now, I don't honestly know where Tim Holmseth got the idea, but we'll discuss this in a little bit. But for right now, I'm going to play the segment with Mr. Holmseth talking about the reptile people. And I'll be back after the end of the clip to discuss it further. Because it's so freaking crazy that it's biblical. Because, but I'm going to tell you what they're doing. One of the things they're doing is, and that is they're mixing genetics. They're mixing uh, human genes with animal genes, and th they did all this crap way back in the Bible. That's why, with the flood of Noah, that's why God flooded the earth because uh, everything had been contaminated. Everything was mixed. These were there, everything was hybrids except for Noah and his family. <clears throat> so, um, Satan's objective is to contaminate all the blood, mix us together. Make it so we're not completely human and we can't accept Jesus Christ as our Savior and, you know, and ruin God's plan. Okay, so that's one of the things they're doing in these underground bases is mad scientist bullshit where they're doing that. Then if you, if you go to my website, you're going to see another one where it shows a guy in a military uniform. I can't remember his name right now, but he, he's like one of the whistleblowers against Trump or whatever. Fake whistleblower. But he's like, got all, he's military. I, I can't remember his rank either. He might be a colonel, whatever. Um, there's a shot on there very that hones in real, real close up to his eye. And what you're going to see is that the slit in his eye doesn't go hor horizontally. It goes um, vertically, up and down. And I also put on there um, a picture, a close-up of an alligator's eye, because that's what you'll see is that the pupil is vertical. It's up and down on an alligator. And what I'm telling you is that, that in the world around you, there's people around us that aren't, basically they're not of our species. And that's why they have lizard eyes. And this is, this is another thing that, I mean, if you study these subjects, you're going to know it's true that this is what's going on in the underground, underground in the in these underground um, dumps, they're called, dumb, they're called dumps, deep underground military bases. Some of these go down hundreds of miles, folks, basically into what we call hell. So there's a whole world underneath us. And in that world, there are people that, that are of a different species. They're reptilian. And that's what you're seeing in the, so I put that example of that eye. Uh, you go ahead, you look at it, and you look around, and you go look at your family, and you ask to look at everybody's eye. You're going to see that most everybody around you, that their their eyes are horizontally. Then, then try to make sense of that, and Google it. Go on YouTube and research it. You're going to find that a lot of these Hollywood Illuminati people, they've got this vertical eye. That's because they're reptilian. They're not like us. And that explains why they can torture children. Um, they drink blood. They create their their uh, pedivores. They want to eat babies. Well, it's because they're not like us. They're they don't have emotions and feelings and and such like us. And they got different cravings than we do. So um, that was the other thing that um, I was supposed to talk about. So anyway, we've got Timothy Charles Holmes Seth talking about reptile people and how these were all in these bunkers. So the question is, how did Timothy Charles Holmseth come up with this? We know that he comes up with this stuff on the internet because we have Timothy Charles Holmseth using a video about a fish that looks like a person, as I've said. So, where in the internet did he see something about reptile people? Well, 
The answer is, I don't know. But I have an idea where he might have gotten the idea. I remember, Timothy Charles Holmesseth was in the basement of a house. Nice big TV set, nice comfortable couch. And beverages. You know, he says he's a person that's an alcoholic that doesn't drink anymore. But that's what he says. And the truth is kind of elusive with him. So, you know, maybe he got a beer or two or three or four or who knows. But at any rate, Mr. Holmeseth gets out there. And going through maybe a DVD collection, he comes across an old... TV miniseries called V. And what is V about? V is about lizard people. V is about extraterrestrials that came to Earth. They look just like us. Except for as time goes on, you find out that it's actually a bunch of lizards in a human disguise. And they say they come in peace, they came with all the scientific advancement and cures and stuff, and actually what we are is a planet full of Big Macs. Maybe some Big Ribs. Um, maybe a human version of Chick-fil-A, who knows. But basically we were food. And he said, oh, this would be a good idea for the video I'm going to do on fish people. And so we included it. And we have a guy talking about reptile people. Now, if that isn't bad enough, you have to ask yourself, who in the hell are the people that believe this stuff? Now, remember, there are people that take Timothy Charles Holmes at his word. They believe everything he says. They believe the guy is third in line to the President of the United States. I mean, the press secretary, what does she do? Uh, we got Secretary of State, Secretary of Defense, Secretary of the Treasury, National Security Advisor, all these very important people that Donald Trump has. He even has Pam Bondi now. And yet here's Timothy Charles Holmeseth, third in line to the President of the United States, a guy that lives in a Nissan SUV sitting in the parking lot piggybacking off the internet that is now the master award winning journalist that has all this information on the secret society of reptile people, fish people mad scientists vast network of child traffickers uh, satanic ritual abusers, all this stuff. All oh, Timothy Holmes. He's the man. Screw the rest of the people that we're spending hundreds of millions of dollars on to pay all the senators, the congressmen, all these people. It's Tim that's number one. It's Tim that we need to follow. It's Tim to send our money to. So as much as you need to question Timothy Charles Holmesef and the stuff that he is spewing out there, you need to take a long and hard look at the people that actually believe this garbage. You know? Who are these people? Why do they believe in Tim? Do they seriously believe in Tim? Or are they just along for the ride? You know, this is some kind of stand-up comedy show that they just participate in and pretend to believe in. I don't know. Yeah, they're just all a bunch of LARPs. They're role-playing. Are these some people that just believe in some of the dumbest shit in history because they don't like Hillary? Because they're all for President Trump? I, I don't think there's a single one in this group that disagrees with Trump. These are all monsters. And that says a lot. With that, this is William K. Murtaugh, we're going to this one. Have a good one.